Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. online school. My name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is customs and ceremonies. And before we get into any lessons boys and girls we must sanitize. So please take your sanitizer and let us sing our special sanitizing song. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. <laughs> Good job, everyone! Now we are ready to start. For today's lesson, we are going to be doing capacity and coloring. For our first activity, boys and girls, let's turn to page 29. On page 29, we are going to be talking about capacity. Now, capacity has to do with liquids and we want to find out what the capacity is for the following. The first thing we are going to do as an activity is draw a line on each container to show the water level. Now, I have decided to help you with this one, so whilst I'm showing you my bottles, I want you to please draw the line on the four bottles we have there. Let's take a look at the bottles. So the first one that I have here is the one that is in your book which says half full. As you can see, my bottle is half full. There is the water. So if you're going to draw a line for half full, you need to draw a line that is in the middle of the bottle. The next line that they want you to draw is nearly full. So I have my bottle that is nearly full. Now, if you see, this line is almost at the top. So when we are saying nearly full, we mean that it is almost full. There's only a little bit of space left for it to be full. So you would draw your line almost at the top. The next one that they are asking you for is nearly empty. Now this one, the water has been drunk almost all the way down and we are at this line which shows that it is almost finished. As you can see, that is where the water is. So I'd like you to please draw a line to show nearly empty. And then the last one, boys and girls, doesn't even need a line. The water is gone, so we say this is empty. 
So let's go back and we are talking about the first one which is half. So this one is half four. You can see half four. The next one is nearly full. Nearly full. And the next one after that is nearly empty. Nearly empty. And the last one that we have for today is empty. Empty. So that was your first exercise. I hope you managed to make sure that you drew the lines at the right place. Now let's go back into the exercise and see what they're asking us to do next. In the exercise, they are now asking us in four separate boxes to circle a certain container. Now when we mean less, we mean little water. And when we mean more, we mean a lot of water. I'm going to show you what this means when we say less and more. Let's take a look at the board. Now I have two containers with me. I have a big container and a smaller container. My container here has water, but it is almost full. So it cannot hold a lot of water. So a container like this, we say it holds less water comparing with the big container. If I were to pour this water inside the container, you can see that the water is only at the bottom, which means this can hold more water than this container. So when we're talking about less water, we are talking about the smaller container. And then when we are talking about more water, we are talking about the big container. So now that we know this, let us try and answer the questions in our exercise. Let's take a look at our exercise. So our exercise has the first one, which says, it says, circle the container which can hold less water. Now from what I showed you, it's the smaller one that holds less water. So may you please circle the smaller bottle. Now the next one says, let's point to it, the one next to it, it says, circle the container which can hold less water. Again, you must circle the smaller one because the smaller container will have less water. The next one at the bottom has three. It has a cup, a bottle and a bucket. So it is asking you to circle the container that can hold more water. Now you have to figure it out which one is the one that will hold more water. And the last one is the same. It is saying circle the container which can hold more water. Have fun my children. Remember capacity means how much and we can either have less or more. Finish up your exercise and I will see you after this advert break. Do you have children in the age range of 5 to 6 years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, 
occupations, autumn, and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. For our last exercise, boys and girls, let us turn to page 30. On page 30, we are going to be doing some coloring and we are going to color the picture of Isaac and there is so many things about this picture. Now, if you can see, we have a beautiful sun. So we know that we need to color the sun yellow. Just under the sun, we have some beautiful clouds and there is an angel that is floating in the sky. Make sure that you color everything correctly with the correct color, including the fire that's on the other side. Please take your time, color in the lines and if you'd like, you can ask an adult to read you the story about Isaac and this part of his life. Please pay attention to all the lines and make it as beautiful as possible. Remember, when you are coloring, please color in one direction, either up and down or across. I will see you after you have colored your beautiful picture. We'll be back after this short advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Well, I had an amazing time during this lesson. I hope you managed to finish all your exercises. And remember, if you don't know, it's okay to ask for help. Now that we are done, it is time for us to sanitize. So please take your sanitizer and let us sing our special sanitizing song. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away away yay <laughs> good job everyone i wonder though i thought i saw him by the window but where is soshi hmm he's always trying to sneak up on me soshi oh. <laughs> there he is hello soshi <laughs> So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus.